The Azure Poly Transall C160 has been out for a few weeks now. In my opinion, it's the best military transport aircraft in the sim, and for the price of 33 US dollars, its value cannot be beaten. It is a true labor of love. So in today's video, I'll be talking about exactly that, why you should look into getting the Azure Poly Transall C160. First, some real life information. First flying in service in 1967, the Transall C160 soon became the trusty backbone of German and French Air Force transport fleets. Powered by two Rolls-Royce Tyne engines and with a maximum takeoff weight of 51 metric tons, the C160 proved so popular that they have only recently been retired after an incredible 50 years of service in some cases. As your poly have recreated this incredible aircraft in Microsoft Flight Sim to a stunning level of detail as a fitting tribute to this icon of French and German aviation. So let's talk about it. Now Azure Poly have modelled the C160R to be precise, which is the most up-to-date version of the Transhill C160. Um, it was last used by the French Air Force and that means in the cockpit you are actually getting some modern systems. We have, surprisingly, for an aircraft of its time, got an FMS in there as well as an EFIS screen which is electric flight information. So that's very nice and if you fly big airliners in Microsoft Flight Sim there is a tiny tiny bit of overlap which means you won't be totally lost in what is a pretty much analogue cockpit. Now let's talk about it. Now speaking about the cockpit, don't be put off by all the knobs and switches. It is quite overwhelming but the fundamentals compared to an airliner remain the same. You know you pop on the APU and you turn on the fuel pumps and eventually you get somewhere where you can start on the engine. Now in terms of texture quality in the cockpit it is near to perfect. You know there's no areas I could pick out and say it's ugly, in my opinion it's a very beautiful cockpit. While yes it does look clunky in places, this aircraft of course was made in the 60s, that's to be expected and I think that really does add its own charm. You might notice as well as I've already pointed out there are actually uh, FMS systems, flight management systems, basically flight computers in the centre pedestal, there's two of them, which means technically you can import uh, flight plans into this aircraft, although Azure Poly are still working on this system as we speak, so it's not 100% there just yet. All in all, the cockpit is beautiful, in my opinion. Nothing more much to say. Now, in terms of the external model, it gets even better here. First off, there's 11 8K liveries. That definitely pays off. And I have to say, the modelling is pretty much exceptional. Whether you be taking off in a sunset or landing at sunrise, this aircraft looks beautiful. Of course, you'll notice it bears quite a bit of resemblance uh, to the C-130. It's very close in size to the C-130, although the C-130's got four engines and has a much longer range and a much higher top speed. I should also say that the Azure Poly Transfuel C-160, of course, has a modelled hold as well as a ramp, which you can open up and pretend to drop some paratroopers out. Sadly, I don't believe you can drop any paratroopers out at the moment. Now, I've sort of touched on systems already. They are pretty basic in terms of modern avionics, but in in terms of everything else, with all the analog gauges, generator switches and fuel pumps, they're very true to real life I have to say. What came as a surprise to me is that there is actually IRS alignment, um, which I presume was added in the later stage of the Transuel's life, so it wouldn't have to be the C160R. I can't see IRS being shoved into the 1960s version of the C160. But systems, they work well, and you do have to read the manual to get this thing started up. I did say it's got a very similar workflow to an airliner in terms of you turning on the APU, uh, smashing on the fuel pumps, etc, etc. But they are very much in a very different layout uh, to what you'd expect. I remember spending about 30 minutes just figuring out where everything was. All in all, systems have been meticulously crafted, it's definitely paid off. This one is definitely an aircraft where you have to read the very good manual before you take it on a flight. 
On top of that, sounds. Sounds are a true highlight for me. Aside from the incredibly annoying uh, fire klaxon, which I guess it has to be, the sounds are amazing. They're what you call WY sounds, I've got no clue what that means. I do know they were recorded, or at least some of them were recorded, in person at an air museum down in Portugal, and this has certainly paid off. Inside or out, sounds are a real joy. Have a listen. Now to wrap up the final few points, performance. On initial release, when I was flying with this aircraft a few weeks ago, it wasn't so good, so I held off for a while waiting for some updates. But now it has been updated, performance is near enough perfect. It has been very smooth in every situation I have put it in. Very smooth to me means it's pulling a minimum of 30 FPS uh, continually. And of course it goes a lot higher than that when you're flying over rural areas. In terms of flight model, it is an absolute beast to land. I can't lie, landing the Azure Poly Transual C160 took a lot of practice, and I'm nowhere near there just yet. It is a really challenging aircraft to hand fly, as I imagine it would be in real life, but what comes with a challenge comes the immense feeling of satisfaction when you do eventually get it right. Whether you're hand flying or using the basic autopilot, one thing is for sure, the Azure Poly Transual C160 is great fun. Don't get me wrong, there's still some way to go with it. In terms of IFR flight capabilities, I've already spoken about the FMS using flight plans, and there's definitely a long way to go there, but Azure Poly are definitely on it. And to be honest, this sort of aircraft, you're going to be doing more types of VFR flying anyway, so I definitely don't think that's a deal breaker. For 33 US dollars, which is about 29 UK pounds, it is great fun and in my opinion, I highly recommend it. What do you think? Have you tried out the Azure Poly C160? A rather unique aircraft that incorporates outdated flying systems and mingles them with some more modern day flying systems resulting in a unique flight experience. Do let me know your thoughts down below. On that note guys, I'll see you around. Have a fantastic day. Bye bye.